Now it's like the monkey's off your back. You don't have you don't have a ceiling anymore after this past year. It starts this new year, so you're officially NCAA eligible. What does that mean for you guys just in terms of moving forward and, and also recruiting? I mean, finally, you know, you can recruit and say, look, we don't have an end stop to our season that was mandated by the NCAA before. And, and that's the amazing thing, because if you look at the success, you mentioned recruiting, uh, for our coaches to be able to go out and recruit student athletes that are willing to compete at this level. Uh, moving forward, it's exciting because what we're hearing from kids now is we're building on what you did. We're not having to rebuild. We're not having to come back and say, oh, now we're eligible. Uh, so forget the last four years. They're sources of pride for us. And so coaches are be able to go out and say, hey, by the way, we won the WAC last year. Uh, now we're eligible to play in the postseason and we're it to be Next year, what we did this year, uh, you're playing in the NCAA tournament. You guys have finally finished that four-year transition period from Division II to Division I. And at the WAC, we've allowed transitioning schools to compete in the postseason. Of course, that hasn't transitioned over to the NCAA. But now you guys have completed that. And you mentioned the transfer portal and recruiting also. How does finally having that weight off of your shoulders and that end cap point at every season where you can't go any further no matter what happens, how does that impact, you know, recruit, bringing recruits to Utah Tech, but just overall with the university? Again, you have to live through it before you can fully appreciate the impact that it has, but um, it, it is big for us. As your student athletes obviously want to compete at the highest level. So we're ready to move on to the next phase and compete at the highest level.